You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. Just to throw that on the intro thing. It's nice. But um classic. It is a classic. Shout out to WLP, who's doing reviews now. He's doing his own little sub world review. So good for him. You know, it's good to oh. it's good to do things. WLP is one of the founders of this. He's also of this. one of our OG memes. Yo, fact. He was re- he was a ridiculous human, but you know, got to give him his credit <laughs> where credits do. You know, the beginning of this was kind of shaky, but either way, mm-hmm. this is episode one hundred and sixty, the Nacho Man's podcast. We're gonna fly through this one. I was gonna just for you know for the people who are gonna jump in, who who want to talk about Donda and all that bullshit. I did not do it today. I was not gonna do it today, especially after Kanye put that whole. They released it without his approval. So I know it's going to change a million times. I knew I should have did it. I should have just did it and let you do it. Nah, I got it. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to jump on the hype train if we're going to review it. And the second someone listens to it is there's different things. Because that happened to me. I mean, with Pablo. a lot of people just don't like it right now. And I'm, but that's I mean, because it's taking it the hype. I feel like it'd be better if we give it a day. Or even a I, week. Mm. I should release it on like Thursday. Because people, saying people don't like it because of the hype? Yeah, people don't like it because yeah, people, of the hype. It's the, fun to they, hate. the second it didn't come out when it was supposed to, people automatically hated it. And then uh-huh. the fact that like there's people who are praising the 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 you know the live viewings, people are gonna hate it because of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just I, there's I really think, no. I think a lot of people are hating it because they don't feel like it's a true hip hop album. But, but, it's but not. that's but that's and but that's not a thing. A he when was the last time he yeah. made a, a true hip hop album? Um, what was it? Probably Jesus? No, yeah, the, uh, the life of Pablo. Pablo. Yeah, but that wasn't even like you. Can you really classify that as a true? Like, let's be real. Kanye hasn't nah, dropped yeah, real hip hop since the the registration albums, you know, and graduation albums. Like, Correct. he hasn't Correct. dropped the true hip hop. Like, he's been ah, the nah, perfect. Duh. He's been the perfect balance between whatever the mainstream sound is, his own sound and pop. Like that's just his, that's Kanye's thing. Like that's the reason we can call him a genius because he's mixing, he's always mixing those, those popular things with the times and his lunacy. Like there's no, he's not giving us full hip hop. Like, let's just keep it a buck. Like it's not full hip hop albums. He doesn't do that. I don't know. I, I think, uh, no lies detected I, I think Jesus was probably his last hip hop album. But that even then that was, that, that shit wasn't like true hip hop though. Yeah. That was just like it was just a mix. It has hip hop on it. It has hip hop features, but it's a it's a lot. He does a lot in his music, so I feel like people are gonna give him a hard time. Like that's why I was like, I'm gonna give it a good listen because I wanna I wanna give it a full listen. But I also when Pablo came out, I listened to it the day it came out, and if I listen to it now, it doesn't sound the same as when I first listened to it. You know what I'm saying? Like they changed so many things even later. You know what I'm saying? Like they changed. There were so many small things that I remembered that they changed, like certain parts with like chances verse on the fucking, you know, ultralight beam. And there were certain things that changed with just a lot of different little things that to me, they make that much of a difference, like shit like that. And it's like, I don't know. It's not like it's annoying to me because like a mainstream artist can get away with taking something down and putting it back up. And like we couldn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we would have to go through it; it'd be down forever. Like his shit just sneaks in there, completely re-uploaded, like SoundCloud or something. Like, oh, let's replace the file, and right. you would never know. You know what I'm saying? So, if I want to give something a one-time li- like listen, I want it to be legit. Smooth's so mad at you right now. He's he's just out. banging he's his controller. Oh no, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing my Street X Men versus Street Fighter arcade. Oh, um, nice. I'm not mad at all, but I mean, I, I, I like the, for what it's worth. I like the album. I, I thought right. that. I mean, I I, I can't. I, I can never say that he's gonna put out garbage. You know what I'm right. saying? Like he's never put out garbage to me. He has stuff that I didn't like, stuff that I couldn't fully jump on board with. But for the most part, you can hear the genius. He's a talented dude, and like he does shit that's super dope. You know what I'm saying? He he does have his moments where he gets on his high horse and his god fucking mode type shit, and it is whatever. But like, I mean, that's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, when someone is just at that point in life. But whatever. Either way, it's not the Donda cast. This is the regular fucking reviews for the week. So we're going to start off with Monday. So we started off our week with Same Energy by Busy Banks. I'm going to just let this be known for the people who, you know, know our reviews and shit like that. I'm going to keep it a buck. I think Trey, TR3, 
is the nicest reviewer we have currently. Yeah, seems that way. He is going to be the the lemon master. He he is dishing out yellows left and right because I feel like he just can't give red stamps sometimes, you know? Like, it has to be a clear red stamp. If it's not, it's going to get a lemon. And I, and I can appreciate that, you know? He's writing with uh, he's writing with kid gloves. Huh? He's he's just he's too nice, bro. He's like when you go to the doctor, and you know the doctor wants to give you like bad news, and instead of like just flat out telling you you got cancer, they pull out a like, sock. Here, here's a here's a lollipop, <laughs> and um, I just want to speak to whoever's your emergency contact. Like yeah, I don't want to speak yeah. directly to you. But take yeah. the lollipop though. Like that's yeah. that's him right now. Uh, yeah, and they, they start you off by saying, you know, the good thing is, is if you do this, you could live, but more than 60 days, you know, they hit you with that type bullshit. No, nah, but yeah, like, and I'm not mad at it. We need to mix that up because we can't all be dickheads and whatnot. But um, we could. We could. But this I mean, project to me is trash. <laughs> I hated this project. But that's because I'm very burnt out. He's new, so he's probably not burnt out yet. But yeah, we've, heard, we've heard this a million yeah. times. But I this will is say. just Drill City. Just to play fair, the first track opened strong. There's 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 In a couple opinion. tracks on here that are solid, but that there's like three. To me, the yeah. rest are like yeah, ass. it's not it's not the whole thing. It doesn't go crazy. Yeah, uh, I just didn't like it at all. I'm not gonna lie with you. That's I fair. think that uh, uh, I I was just looking for more. It just sounded a lot like the same shit that we've been hearing yeah it's just popular over and over, like and drill, over again yeah it's a bunch of drill yeah. shit and other stuff like that like it's it's not fun it's not fun i, for me I would have more fun running through sheetrock rolls and seeing if i could like just burst through them. <laughs> like yeah cool, oh yeah man. honestly it's just a lot of this is just the same shit that's the thing like uh, you're gonna give me 12 songs that are all the same and there's like two good versions of one in there i, I like I'm, I'm i'm over it you know what i'm saying like i'm bored of it like that shit is corny to me like yeah, try, just definitely. try a little bit, just try. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. Yeah, don't just, just try do what everybody else is doing. Yeah, like all right, you want to copy people, cool, but like you can try a little bit, you know. But I mean, even when you copy people, like I mean, flattery and copying is like the best form of flattery. Yeah, you know, like Little Wayne said it too. But at the end of the day, it's one thing where you're copying and pasting exactly what you're hearing, yeah. and then copying it to make it your own. You know, this, yeah. this, that's two distinct different things. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, there's copying and being influenced by. Yeah, exactly. Right. This is this is full on like I morphed into that rapper that I'm copying. Oh, and no, now this, I'm is, this is copy and paste. This is select yeah. all copy paste. This, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Plagiarism. Yep. Full on plagiarism. Yeah, I fucking I, I was super annoyed by this shit. But um, but either way, moving on. The next one was uh, Bigger Than Life or Death. This had like a lot of hype behind it. This is ESTG's Another project. Another one that he was very nice about. Super nice about this. This was this yeah, was worse I, than the last one. This is not one. a five out of ten. This was this is worse this than is the a last one. one out this of was 10. a two out of ten. Yeah, like a one or a two out of ten. Right. This was ass. Yeah, this shit was trash. And what's crazy about this one? Even the songs that I thought would be good weren't good. Like I fuck with Yo Gotti. I thought that song was ass. I fuck with Lil Durk. That song was ass. I fuck with Future and Young Thug. That song was ass. I even fuck with Lil Super. Baby. I don't fuck with Forty Two Doug much, but that song was ass. Like this dude is so trash. He was ruining tracks with people who aren't ass. Yeah, which is you know that's it's almost like you're trying to suck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, it com- when it comes to stuff like that when an artist has no like competitive spirit or anything on a track, it's, it's an, it's an industry plant, bro. That's label shit. Yeah, definitely. That's, you know, that's something that they was, they just want to get him out because they want to push yeah. some units. And he shit, had like get a, get a little buzz. songs in the booth <clears throat> in like the studio on a hard drive. And they're like, Hey, let's just get some of the label mates, like label money and just put future on this, put Doug on this or yo, yo got it. No, that's what I and it's just it's, it's trash like it's like he definitely had no care or knew they were going to be on it it just feels it's it's dull this feels like industry plant bullshit like i don't know i wasn't i'm not a fan of shit like this at all i wasn't feeling it not one bit yeah this was a nice like a super reach for a lemon this was easily maximum i'd give this a 
Max, yeah, bro, just, Max, I would have gave him one point. To cover five. Art with a picture of a trash can. I, I'm not giving him more than one, bro. I'm not. I'm not giving him yeah. more than a one. Yeah, it's rough. I'm giving him that just off the. I don't know, just for for shits and giggles. Like, here's a pity point. Here's one. <laughs> here's a one. Good job. You put yeah. out music. I'll give you points for that. What's funny is someone mentioned <laughs> that in our comments. They were like, at least someone put out music. And it's like, bro, that's not enough. Anybody can put out music. It's right not. Now. It's not. Yo, anybody can put out music. Right? My, like, my, I literally can record a whole album on my out. phone and upload it to DistroKid for 35 bucks a year. I can upload it, a full album, if I wanted to. Record it on my fucking phone. Yeah. I, no I mixing and mastering. At all, bro. Go straight to Garage Man. Yep, like zero mixing. Not even. I could just use regular, like shitty. I could use the old, like Soldier Boy, fucking old phone app, like ringtone apps to fucking make a song. Like literally, you don't have to be able to do anything to put out music. So it's like, I don't really, I can't give people that credit anymore. Back in the day, maybe. Now, no. Facts. It's too. It's it's ridiculous. So this next project, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say, I'm, this is a hot take of mine. If Certified Lover Boy doesn't sound better than this project, I'm gonna be pissed. But this project is the highs by Mike. This is the smoothest shit I've heard in a minute. <laughs> yeah, this shit was fire. For 23 songs, I didn't even get bored. I was like, this is a vibe. Like I was looking I mean, for shit to do just to do it to have this on in the background. I did this start to smooth. feel a little little strung out. Yeah, I was. I, I was honestly, just about to I say that even, it was I a little get too to long. A point where I was strung out, I just got to a point. I got to a point where I was enjoying it, just being on, where I had to like remind myself I was doing a review, and I'd be like, "Wait, what song is this?" <laughs> I, I was just that chilling, if you're, like doing something. Yeah, I was just yeah, chilling. Like, I wasn't even paying attention to when the song switched because I stopped caring. Like, <laughs> I had to keep going back like, oh, yeah, this song. This was what this This man Johnny like. was staring at the wall. Oh, I was <laughs> chilling, bro. I started reading a this book. This went to shit, full like... reboot mode. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I started stu- I started reading. I start- I was just relaxing, bro. Like I was like, this is, a- this is a vibe. Like this is, like I said in the review, this is that fucking, you know, chilled cow. This is that fucking lo-fi channel but just with lyrics on it just vibing and it sounds like when his songs were like the really the ones that he actually worked on not the ones that he split into four songs i was like this is this is kind of some drake vibe type shit oh shit <laughs> and I've, I, mean, I, in I, my head, I was like this is so else. clean huh it reminded me of some, i don't know if i would say drake it reminded me of somebody else though okay it gave yeah, me definitely not drake, drake. it gave me some drake vibes like when Drake I mean, is on his bit. like when it. he's on his chill bag, it gave me the Drake vibes. Not when he's in like rap mode or I'm gonna blow up the internet mode. Yeah, he's just kinda. like uh, you know, you know like, who, you know who it like the, this is like Hotline it, 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 Bling. It did. You know what I'm saying? This is like Hotline. Nah, bling I wouldn't say that. I, I would say times. more of uh, I would say more of uh, from um, uh, so far gone. Okay, so you know who, more like you know so who, far gone, Drake. You know who it reminded me of? It kind of reminded me of Nick D. A little bit, yeah. Like okay, same yeah, kind of lane. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I fuck with this. Honestly, this project to me, even though it's 23 songs, is a little ridiculous, but I feel like if this was split into, you know, fucking four or five EPs, it would have it, it would be way better to people's ears. You know, in moderation, I feel yeah. like this would go way harder because you just get so much of it that it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna go out and have four fucking full pizzas, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it gets to a point where you're like, all right, I'm in pain, I guess. But I, I don't I know, mean, man. I, I, this. See that. I thought it was super I just smooth. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I thought I this think... was just so clean. I thought it was just well done. I thought it was super clean. I thought he was vibing. He's talking like that lady lover boy type shit. And it just sounded real. Like, I don't know. There's something about this that was just super appealing to me. And it's not like I was giving it fires across the board. I was giving it waves. But I was like, this shit is replayable. Like, I wouldn't be yeah. mad. You know? Like, he was definitely talking nice, too. Yeah, he was sliding. He was sliding and he was getting his little sing on. And it was just fun. Like, it was just super, like, it gave me the vibes of, you ever, like, listen to a song that's just so smooth and you just let it loop? And you just keep repeating it and you're like, this is a smooth song. That's just what this whole vibe gave me, the whole project. I was like, this is just smooth. Like, I can't, I have nothing bad to say about this besides the fact that, oh, it's 23 songs. Yeah, uh, yeah I can see that. Uh, it, you know it, what I'm saying? To me, like, it, was, it was long. It's like, really it wrong. is long, but like, what bad can you say? Like, none of the songs were like. I mean, bad, yeah, I mean, know? I can't say anything bad. Now, it was, it, it was definitely a good time. It was just, yeah, that's literally the only lot. downside to it. It was just a yeah. lot of fucking songs. Yeah, 
I feel like if he split this in half or in three, it would have been the the perfect like balance. But you know, yeah, that just means he can put out music at this at this rate. So fuck it, you know. If that's what you want to do, that I mean, that's like the new that thing that a lot of like um, these upcoming artists are trying to to push, and I feel like not everyone's really jumping on that wave. But a lot of these like no not no name no names, but these like undercard artists are putting out these huge like long either it's a deluxe or the project is just long in general mm. which uh, you know i don't fully agree with but i mean hey fuck it i mean they're, 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 they they should have figured that out during like covid times when they don't have to fucking put out music for a whole year and go on tour and shit but either way i rocked with this project i still been listening to it i think it's super smooth i'm not so, mad at that yeah, it's just a vibe. It's a vibe. I'm like, this is like, this is like the white dude that gets invited to the cookout type vibe. Like, this is cool shit. Just a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see him work with some of the other smooth white, you know, Legion, like the Jack Harlow's and all that, other, and like maybe get G Easy to try to rap again on some shit like that, just to see how they work. You know, fuck G Easy. G Easy upsets me because he when he sauces and styles. Is cold. He but just he's so corny. He sometimes, sometimes it's dope, man. Get out of here, reckless! I'm gonna boot you from the chat. <laughs> reckless, he's the man. Sometimes, oh boy, sometimes you easy sauces, and I'm like, damn, this is kind of cool. Like this is a vibe. Like that fucking he's, uh, he's beautiful full, he's damn. full white Drake. He is, and Drake sauces. I think sometimes uh, like, Easy does the weird, like when he did that whole like singy singy Mac Miller shit. I wasn't into that, but when he that three piece he put out before it, he was saucing. Or when he did the fucking beautiful and damn like that album, I was like, fuck, this album is is literally like back to back hits. He has some he has some moments, man. He has some sauce. And when he when he came after fucking um, Machine Gun Kelly, he sauced on him. He didn't even like body body him. He just came and styled on him. And I'm like. This is this is white dude energy who never creases their sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So I could I could fuck with that energy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Walko should even be mad because his whole style is definitely Walko. Yo, facts. Yo, Walko, we giving that that water slide form to G Easy. He taught you that. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the fuck next project. <laughs> All right, Walco. If you ever gotten a shape up or lined up your beard, that's for G. That's Jeezy's, bro. I just went to a Dominican mm. barber the other day too. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, definitely Jeezy, bro. That's Jeezy, definitely. Bro. Respect it. <laughs> so, uh, so the next project was um, Charlie Pope. This was Dark Low and uh, produced by V Don. This was dope. This is Dark Low got a scary, you know, like we'll mug you. And like, uh, just always has Dutch guts, like wherever he is around him. Type vibe. 100%. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he got this just dirty voice. It's kind of like, like what I imagine Uncle Murder sounding like in his 20s. Every time, every time Dark Low talks, a heroin fiend appears. Yeah. <laughs> facts and i and i and i fuck with this like this project's dope man i think the production was super scary and shit like that but i I, the thing with dark glow i feel like he's in such a comfortable bag which is kind of the the downside i guess you would say of like the underground like drug talk angry hip-hop type sound that's going on right now the the gris i call it the griselda babies even though it's been around before but everyone's kind of gravitating towards the griselda type sounds and shit like that i feel like the downfall of this sound or like someone doing this because everyone's just like oh because it sounds like that we're just gonna say it's dope and mind you it's a dope sound but i'm starting to get a little tough on it because no none of them are trying to raise bars yeah it doesn't need to be the only sound yeah and it's not just that like it's hard to be to be like all about projects like this one when God damn, Yo, Lou, you good? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You making lasagna? Nah, a live show. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I know, I know. I'm throwing out this, this. I was throwing out the bag. My bad, my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's my man like making a whole lasagna or something. Stairs. Not like, yo, bro. Like, yo, I, I got uh, Longhorns for dinner. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the big brown bag was just sitting in the middle of the floor. So I, man, I was trying to pick it up, man. Yeah. All right. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> but um, 
But yeah, like what I was saying, it's like for a project like this to really stand out, it, it's hard to when you got people who write like rigs or like fucking anyone from the cloth or like Rome streets, you know, when people like them exist, I don't want to hear the regular version of, of this type of rap because Rome streets has given us five, six albums a year. <laughs> Ridiculous. And it's, and it's all like elevated punches and he's hitting up all the top producers of that sound. Like it's not just giving us one thing. Like, even though you can say Rome streets is giving you that, you know, street rap, his street rap got layers, bro. And he's pun his punchlines are very fucking crazy. His simple punchlines are fucking crazy. He's mixing it up. He's giving street lessons. Like, so just to give us a straight street rap pot project, it's like, this is solid, but like, what are you doing to challenge yourself? Right. Like, I want to hear some, I want some real shit. Like, what's to stop anyone? Like, what's to stop some dude that lives on your block and, like, hears you through the window from doing exactly what you do? Nothing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a fact. But, like, there's no originality. You know what I'm saying? So, it's starting to get to the point where this is becoming, like, the mumble. Like, I'm hearing nothing but this now. And it's like, if the if the production isn't the best shit ever then it just is what it is. It's not going to break an eight for me. Right. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. And I, and it sucks. Cause like, it's like kind of, it's like, was at one point in time, like my favorite genre of hip hop that was making a boom. But like, now it's like, Oh, everyone can do it. And it's like, bro, oh, challenge yeah. your pen. Like dark low, even though I'm like, yo, yeah, he can rap. He didn't say anything that made me like wrinkle my fucking face. Mm. I was going to say too, is a, I'm a, I'm a dark low fan. This this one to me was kind of mids, and I think it might be because I'm just kind of like sound exhaustion. Yeah, for sure. He's, he's, sound exhaustion. Sound been, exhaustion is very real. He's been doing the same thing for so long that like yeah, he, he don't I become the currency of drug rap. Yeah, you know, because we all know currency just dropped something else, and I was gonna review it, and two songs in, I was like, this is the same. <laughs> it's the same shit he's been putting out for a decade, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not listening to this. And that's what it's turning into. Unless someone's, like, sending it into us, I don't think I can do projects like this anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, we. you know what it's going to sound like. Yeah, move me, please. At least with the, like, mumble rap bullshit, I can cook the shit out of them, and that's the joy I get out of it. Stuff like this, I don't want to just dish out sevens because I know it's going to be a seven. Yeah, because, like, it's solid. I'm yeah. bored of it, though. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, so this next project, oh, this is some old head shit. This was Warrior's Pride by Ghost Dog. This is boom bappity bappity hip hoppity hop. This was on some Wu Tang vibes, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was this was a good time. Not even gonna yeah. lie. Yeah, this this this, this like brought me back. I I like that. I like all the <clears throat> DJ features. I like the fucking. I thought the features were here. They're all. No one on this project is under forty five. <laughs> no <laughs> without a doubt they all, they all what what the, I, I even called i was like this is your uncle shit like this is yeah oh yeah this is this it, is the domino room table like the domino table yeah project. they're playing got be cool you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> they're, in the, uh, they're in the little corner yeah. in the cut you know they might even be playing CeeLo. you know what i'm saying like yeah facts this is this they, is this, this is kangles kangles and bucket hats <laughs> yo you know what i'm saying <laughs> And I and I fucked with it. I mean, it's not like we're cooking them, but I thought this was a good time. Like this is easy to understand because the flows, nothing's complex. It's straight up raps. The content is here. It's cool. It's a good time. There's a little mix of like old school nerdy shit. If you catch it or if you like some of the classic stuff, but there's also just just old head raps. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's polished enough to be like, all right, you know, this shit ain't that dated. And the yeah, occasional exactly. chord sound, uh, sword sound sample. All of the sword Ching. samples. That's which I fact. which I rocked with. It fits the theme, you know. You calling it fucking Warriors Pride and shit like that, and it just had some good stuff. Like there was some funny stuff. Like I really enjoyed that nigga moment song. I thought that was a good time. I thought that track Natives fucking slapped. Like there, this was a good time. Like I enjoyed this. This was like just some old dudes who were like, "Hey, I'm you know I'm a student at a game. I know some people. I'm gonna put out some fun." <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only thing I really took away from it, like, that were really lost points for me was that uh, some of the hooks are just, it, they just sounded so lazy. It's like, I get yeah. it. You just want to, you want to punch heavy, yeah. you want balls and everything. You want to drop knowledge. Yeah, and then when it comes gems. to the hook. 
Yeah, the yeah, hooks, the there hooks was no just, like creativity. There was no. Yeah, it was, it was just so simple. Like it just it was like let me so throw like four bars together. Let me repeat it and throw like a crazy double on it, and that's it. Type. Yeah, shit. that's it. That's it, bro. Yeah. And it was all like that. It wasn't even like I, I could oh, get yeah. like one or oh, two. Oh yeah. No, it was the, all of them was like that. Every hook was like that. Like they they yeah. dialed in every hook. <laughs> yeah, it just. I mean, and I and I'm cool. I'm I'm all good with simple hooks, but if it's gonna be simple, it gotta be something wild, catchy. It gotta be some yeah. type of element to the hook that makes me appreciate the song even yeah. more. Or say something like, there was so no slick me, and catchy. Yeah, it, it was no yeah. replay value for me. Like other nah, than the bars just... and everything, it's just cool. But like when it comes to the hook, the hooks is what really makes a song. It makes yeah. it break a song because that's what makes you want to say, all right, I'm going to make you. That makes it stick. That makes it stick in your yeah. head. Like, oh, what's the song I like? Oh, the one with that hook. Right. Yeah. And then, and then you can't, you can't really, I, I don't remember what song I really liked because I don't even remember what hook it was. And yeah. Once you change the song, you know, and we, we, we have to sit here and when we review them, we got to listen to them one time. So I don't even remember what song yeah. it was because of the, there's Cause not, I don't yeah, remember the hook. It, Cause it's just it, to, at that point, it's just like an endless line of raps. Like it's an ongoing rap, you know? Facts. Yep. Yeah. Facts. I was just sitting there like, damn, so I'm like, y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't think of anything <laughs> nice, catchy. Uh, y'all got all these bars. Shit was like dropping gems. Niggas was dropping wild jewels. Mad and jewels. Then the hooks come and it's just like, blah. Yeah. Some old school, <laughs> okay, they just oh, okie doke shit. Yeah, like you know, we don't give a fuck about the hook. Like, if that's the case, then yo, bro, do it. Your whole yo, I don't need no hook for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, either yeah, just make no this, hooks. This is where like it wouldn't hurt to reach out to the youth. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's a fact. Because if they would have had all these, I mean, everything was was filled and content filled and everything. All you needed yeah. was a catchy hook here and there. Because like I said, I mean, I don't care about the or just do just some one or two it, songs. If you're gonna do yeah. the old school vibe, anyways, just do some fucking scratches or something. Yo, fact. But that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, to they, they and, been... like sample some old, some old lines, some memorable hip hop yeah. like classic lines, and you just scratch it to death. You're good. Or even if they took their own bars and like chopped and screwed yeah. it or something yeah. like that, mixed it into the hook, like that would have been dope. Like it would have yeah. made the album feel a little you're welcome. More complete. <laughs> facts. So, yeah, but that's the only thing that really worth a lot of points for me, bro. Like, yeah. I mean. I, I enjoyed it for the most part. It was just yeah, it was a good time. It's just yeah, it definitely needed those to bring it to life. Yeah. All right. So next next project was Six Locks by Khan and Brycon. I don't know Khan and Brycon. That's that's a lot for me to register. These do you think it's you think it's Bryson? I don't know, bro. I always get these shits wrong. I'm just guessing. (laughs) Yeah, reckless might know. I think there's reckless people. Give us the the dictionary, like the way you're supposed to read it. What the, what do you call that again? I forgot. Right. But. Is it Brycon or uh, Bryson? Phonetic. Phonetic, yeah. Give us that reckless. Let us know. But um, this project was solid, man. I mean, I had like one one critique. I think the dude Con. I think his raps were a little stiff. But what do you? Oh, it's Brycon, yeah. So I think his raps, like his delivery, was a little stiff. But I like what he was talking about, and I thought the content was there. It's just something about like, I don't know. I think I can just hear when someone's just not fully committing to their rap, like their rap voice and their delivery, you know, it's always I think like a, that. Mm-hmm. It, 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 well, sorry to cut you off, but I just no, felt no. like it just, he just had like, there was no confidence behind his bottle. Yeah. Like, it's there like was a, no... hint, a hint of like insecurity almost, or almost like, right. it's, like it's not that it's that you hear them reading. Yeah. Yeah, it almost like like he's he's just reading it. There's no there's no confidence to it. Like even if you're yeah. reading, you got to make it feel like yeah. You're not. Like if you're reading, treat it like a script. <clears throat> like you can act. You can you know you can method act. You can mix it up. You can right. create whatever you want to create. But some people are just like so focused on like I have to finish this in time. I have to get this in the pocket, and that's it. So I'm gonna read these rhymes, and then once it's in the pocket, it's done. Nah, I like the and there's the no shit. Like there's I'll no record mixing it. it up. That's what you do for a reference. For the reference, yeah. that's what yes. you're supposed to do. Read and then it, you get the reference and then memorize so it. Down. And then, yep. Exactly. And then you listen and then to you your can reference. Mix it up. Yeah. You could yeah, you figure out where you want to go with the record. And then yeah, that's when you really record it. Yeah, you figure out which words you want to stretch, if you want to change your tone, where you want to switch up, all sorts of shit. That's what that's what the reference is for. And this just felt like they were like, let's he just, just mix wrote and it and these then references. Just, uh, 
yeah, no, nah, it, it really sounded like they just wrote it right then and there and was just like, you know what, we're going to record it right then and yeah. there. And yeah. and that to me is, is that's not a, a good thing either because yeah. you want to sit and marinate with the beat. You want to see if, yeah. you know, you maybe you do need to make changes to your verse or maybe maybe you do want to like me personally when i when i have a when i'm sitting on a beat i let that shit marinate even if i already yeah. wrote to it i'm still marinating and like i want to source this motherfucker like you yeah. gotta sit with the beat for a little bit that beat gotta that beat gotta hit you in a way where once you get into the booth and you really record like everything is good like you're and good it's supposed to, go. to be to a point like that's where people like people just think it sounds cool to be like oh i murdered the beat or i killed the boot but like they don't understand the concept the concept is like that you beat it to death with every single variation and flow that you mentally process as like this sounds cool on here to the point where you're like no this Thanks. is perfect i don't need to do anything else on it because i beat this beat to death and that doesn't just mean, oh, punchline. That's why people get it wrong. Oh, I just had punchlines. No. Oh, I just had flow. No, like you have to mix it all together. Like a boxer's not going to win a fight off of just doing one fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, you got to use technique and strategy. And yeah, there's there's a there's, whole lot that goes level. into it. And yeah, it's like People this, just this, think that rapping is just so easy. I mean, yeah. technically it is, well, but technically it's not way. like... It's it's but it's a lot of work. Like if yeah. you're really if you're really serious about your craft, it's really a lot of work. I mean, sometimes yeah. I'll sit on a beat with everything written, and that shit will I'll sit there for like a good month with that with that one song because yeah. I want everything to. I, I, you got to be confident. Like yeah. confidence is probably is it's probably eighty percent of rap, bro. Confidence. Yeah. And that's the, yeah, that's it. the same same like same with like my working process. Like I'll get a verse done in 10, 15 minutes, no problem. Facts. But I won't Facts. love the shit for a minute. <laughs> Yeah, you you gotta you gotta yeah. I think that's about ten percent. You gotta love it. Eighty percent is confidence. Yep, definitely confidence. You have to be confident enough that you're going to pull this off and it's going to sound amazing. Yeah. The other ten percent, ten percent of it is you gotta love what you're doing. You gotta love yeah. your verse. You gotta love the beat. You have to fall in love because niggas could tell when you just yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah, the other ten percent is not giving goes a fuck. Into it. Yeah, there's people who. Who think just because they do it a lot enough or just because they're, you know, solid at it, like, oh, this is my passion. And it's like, nah, bro, you got to love every bit of it. Like every when people aspect. ask me about my music and they're like, oh, you don't put out like all the time or you don't do shit like that. I'm like, yo, because I love music. Like I fucking work on music. None of my releases sound the same because I spend more time learning different sounds and learning different things than I do actually putting it together. Sometimes and then when I do time. put it together, I spend mad time on it because it's like, yo, I genuinely like love this. And I don't battle That's against timelines where I have to put out something or the streets need this, that whole bullshit, you know? No, and you're then battling against just yourself. You're battling yeah. against the man in the mirror, bro. Yep. Yeah. Fuck and that's, a, and that's a real thing. And like man, people man, just. In the mirror. <laughs> I'm asking him to change. And, and, that's, and that's the last ten percent. The last ten percent is yeah. not giving a fuck. Not giving yeah. a fuck about what anybody else thinks. If you think it's hot, I don't give that's a fuck it. what nobody else thinks. If and I a think lot of it's people hot, don't it's fucking believe hot. that. A lot of people don't believe that. They won't they believe that know, until someone not gonna else says like it. it blah, blah, blah. No, bro. Yeah. Like you gotta. It's got about confidence, love, and hate, bro. You gotta. Yep. You gotta hate everybody else because at the end of the day, not give a fuck about what anybody else thinks about what you're putting out. Yeah. Is you? This is you. Yeah. This is your shit. At the end of the day, gotta, like nigga, them niggas is not recording for you. Hate towards your music because some people they take the whole "I love everything I put out" as a, it's oh, a no, blind no, no. illusion, but, but that's, and they put everything that's, out. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, no, but, that, like, but that goes under the love. That goes under the love yeah. because at the end of the day, if you really love your craft, then you're going to be hypercritical about yeah. every single. You're going to overanalyze it. I, yeah, you're not going to just no be shit. like, "Oh, it's done." Any, if you're not a good artist, if you don't look back on your on your past releases and been like, I could have probably done this better, or I could have done, do you always have to, even after it drops, like you're still supposed to be hypercritical about it oh, because yeah. that's how you get better for the next yeah. project. Yep. Think about if you came into the game though, like like remember the first time you rapped and it was probably terrible. Imagine if you came into the game <laughs> oh, with no, that attitude was, though. Every, my first, my first, first rap still on SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? It's always amazing. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> My, my first rap, my first rap, still on SoundCloud, and I go back and listen to it just to make sure. Like if I'm feeling whack, I go listen to it, and I'm like, all right, I'm a little bit better. My <laughs> first raps are still on a CD. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna download the CD, CD onto my computer. You fucking dinosaur. A CD, bro. A CD, <laughs> yes. Matter of fact, my first, my first raps, my first first raps are still on a tape recorder, bro. Still nice. on a cassette, cassette tape, bro. Love I used that. to record. 
I was like 12, 11, 12 years old recording on my little sister's karaoke machine. And I used to used to go and get like the uh the blank tape recorders, like the, the cassettes, put it into the karaoke machine and it would record. So what I would do is I would rap over like like J Lo's songs or like Waiting you know for what tonight. Like I would yeah, bro, that ass, that ass, bro. Like, <laughs> like it was, and then I would write out like J Lo featuring Prince. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, Fire. she was real. She was real back then, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, it's very real shit. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's just that's just the process, man. You got to love that process. Like nobody was just out here like I'm the best ever, and they just stayed the best. That's not how it works. But yeah, you know, no, nah, you got to continuously work at your craft. Fact. I mean, you don't see you don't see fucking like the them architects like oh bro I, I'm. I built the fucking I I paved the way for the for the Empire State <laughs> Building. Like, nah, my nigga, them them niggas fucking make the building. They're like, oh shit, like I could probably make a better building. Yeah. Like, who the fuck says I made the Empire State Building? And then it's like, you know what? I could probably fuck up the Chrysler. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like fact. nobody does shit like that. Yeah, it's a fact. But speaking of in reference to that, that's the thing with this project. This project isn't bad. Like the dude has good content, he can rap. It's just his delivery. He needed some seasoning, bro. A little flair, some flow and rhyme pattern switches up. Like, and then like that would really be good. Cause I think homie producing did a great job. But I think the dude rapping just never left his comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He like yeah, stayed definitely. in that one slightly stiff, you know, pocket. And it wasn't bad, but I feel like, bro, like you gotta want it, you know. Oh, he's no, working on a new. Oh, yeah, Reckless said he's working on a new solo project. Yeah, he hit me up when uh, when the review dropped, and he he appreciated the you know the criticism as artists should. So hopefully, you know, he takes some of the notes from this because if that next project slaps, I want a Father's Day gift. Right, <laughs> and a Christmas, and a Christmas gift, please, and a Christmas card. Facts. Yeah, that's a whole fact. I mean, I'm here for it though. You know, yeah. um, nah, I, I yeah. think. Uh, he's he is not he's not bad like it's, it's not, not bad. like no, he's just, one of these just, whack records that we yeah. usually get he's good it's just you know it's it's refinement it, yeah it, now it's no, this it's, is his first project no 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 i think he put out some other stuff but th- i think okay. this i think this this is like the peak this is where you hit a point as an artist where it's like well, how do i how do i get to that like that that mainstream level yeah, how do I get no, to the next level? Like, how, he's how can good I... enough to put out music that's acceptable. How do you breach yeah. that? How it's do you breach into the all right? Now I'm putting out good fucking music. Now I'm in a bag. Thanks. This is that. This is that level right before it. So it's like this is a level where everyone's gonna be fucking tough on you because people are gonna say it's good because this is a level where certain people can't get. But then there's the people who are like, no, you're right there. Like, st- like this is not where you're going to slow down and, and plateau. Like, this is where you need to fucking reinvent yourself and get crazy, you know, get fucking after it. Yeah. This is, this is when you get you get hungrier. This is when you, you start putting your foot down on niggas' necks and like, hey, like, yeah. I'm I'm really trying to be here. Like, yeah, I'm, not here for, I'm not here for a good time. I'm here for a long time type shit. Facts. But yes, it was solid, though. Not bad. So this next project, um, oh yeah, yeah, the one this when I listened to this one, I was like, oh, I know, I'm gonna fuck with off a rip. This is a uh, glitch gang by Dropout Kings. This is like some new metal Lincoln Park, like new era rap shit. And I'm not mad at it. <laughs> you I, mean, know, I, you, I actually enjoyed this, bro. I loved it. I really I did. Like, this is a good time. Like, I, it, there was only thing that I missed because, like, when I do get to the, you know, the the tough stuff, I really need full-on ignorance especially if you're gonna go on yeah you gotta go all for it yeah Yeah, either go full-on like violent full-on screamo or go full-on ignorant new age and this was just this played it safe in every genre that it mixed which is fine it did a really good job of it but i want i want to hear some fucking chaos as usual like (laughs) i like a lot of these songs on here remind me of like they could like go on some like netflix american anime Type shit. Yo, yeah. Like they, they have really oh, good is, vibes. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, this this like, oh, they, they could be in like a, a reboot of a game like Bushido Blade or some shit. Like, yeah, there, there was a lot of good. Like, I don't know, I, I fucked with it a lot. I really this did. this hit for me because I was I was you know I'm playing that fucking dodgeball academia. So this like an yeah, RPG. I just this was yo, it's just a good time. It, bro. But yeah, this was hit. Yo, for did me you beat the first dude, the bully, the big dude in no, the first no. run? Because no, he no, no. fucked me up. No, I tried. <laughs> He hit me once and it was it was that big ass combo and it was a rap. 
Oh yeah, like I no, I I hit him. I hit him like a good couple of times. Caught one yeah. of the balls, and then I went Once to throw another me, one over. at him. And then yeah, it, he hit me that one time. Yeah, it was when it you was when you when you face him again, it's pretty. It's a pretty good time. It's it's fucking cha- it's chaotic as hell. But but yeah, this project I listened to while I was playing that, and I was like, this fits perfectly well. Like this is fun. It's it new sounds metal. like it's it got would, bounce. So. Yeah, and the dude who was I'm, screaming, you know dude, I'm gonna play hook tonight like Chester to from Linkin Park. Right, that's what didn't was, like, he? Dope for me. Yeah, he sounded like Chester, and I was like, "This is sick!" Like, I, you know, brings back memories. I was like, "This is dope, bro!" Like, younger Johnny would have swore by this. Would have got a tattoo of this shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> but solid, solid. I wasn't mad at it. So the next project. Uh, oh, so this was uh, oh boy. Here we go. Trey with these lovely reviews. This was TBH. Oh by my Steve's. gosh, bro! This, this shouldn't have been a seven. So polite. It's yeah, still this, not, this should have been a seven, bro. This <laughs> this could have this should have been a like of anything. If he's gonna get a five. Some lemon. This would have been a five. It should have been a five. Yeah, easily. And I was just like, oh my goodness. And she was, well, because, she like, was rapping. Does he like talk? Like, did, does he like her? Like, does he have things? Because because I mean, if he does, I could give him a pass, bro. Like, I nah, but he's I give any you know, shorty it is, a pass. It's these thumbs ups, up. man. No, but I mean, I'm just saying, bro. Like. Did he give us seven? Up. He because says he, he didn't like some bad because I don't know. Saying, does he want to eat her pussy? Because I mean, I, I could he understand gave her that, a seven bro. for the cheeks. Yo, right? Facts. You know what I'm saying? I could understand that, bro. Like I really could. I really could. If anybody could understand, it's probably me and Walker. That I mean, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if that's the case, because you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I see you. Because you know, you take a peek through the gram, you're like, oh, okay, fair. Yeah, but, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, fair. Fair. Uh, we gotta ask him. We gotta ask him after the show. We do, but um, other than like, there's like two <clears throat> songs on here that I like maybe three or four. The rest, I was just like, nah. <laughs> yeah, Not that Guap Dad, uh, that Guap Mid- Dad feature was trash. The Guap um, Dad is he's so funny to me, but he's not good. He's not, and and it's crazy because Guap Dad nine times out of ten is is always more missed than hit, but he yeah. can hit. There's times where yeah. he could, he's on. And, yeah. But this wasn't one of those times. Like I, no. I honestly think, I honestly think that probably out of this album, I probably only like three songs. To be perfectly yeah. honest with you, and a five yeah. would have been generous. I would have probably rated this a four or a three or four, yeah. probably a four point four point two. Point two. I would be been, it would have probably been a solid five for me. Just, I, but honestly, mm. I, I, to keep it uh, to keep it very honest, would have been gotten the five off the strength that it wasn't like you know endless pussy raps. <laughs> That's no, fair. yeah, and that's that's the only thing that I actually liked about what she was doing because it wasn't she wasn't oversaturating her fucking pussy. Like, yeah, it was, and that, like, that she that actually to me is came dope. like she was spit. rapping. Yeah, yeah, she was she was rapping rapping too. Like I'm not even mad at it. Yeah, you know. And then the few pussy raps she did drop, like I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't they were like, slick. They were slick. Yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't you know what I'm saying like that's why. Right, passed. right, right. So when it did happen, it was kind of like oh, okay. Okay, you yeah. pussy like that? Like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm listening now. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, that's I'm why that's why that's why I got to seven. No, that's why. I just didn't like I didn't like the, the production 100%. choices. I didn't like a lot of the yeah. beat choices. Yeah. Um, I felt like a lot of the beat choices are kinda like when you have a bad beat, it doesn't matter how how much you're slapping on that beat, that beat is fucking trash. Yeah. Oh like, you yeah. Know what I'm like, a bad beat will from- never get a pass. Yeah. So then there was a lot of those beats we'll on never, here. Like there was never get a pass. There was a bad couple of beat beats on here. It was just like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, yeah. yo, if she had a better beat, this one would probably be so much fire. Yeah. Because yeah. she was sliding. Yeah, she she was doing her thing. I would like to hear her, but like I would like to hear her challenge herself. Like you don't need to do songs with Guap Dad and Simba and Pound Side Pop. Like let's let's rap with some I mean, rappers. It, I mean, that's probably what what she had on her budget. To be honest with you, I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah, the label budget. If she had a bigger budget, you know, she'd probably. I mean, but because I mean, but like she could she could definitely reach out to the youth. People. Reach out to the youth. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a there's fact. some killers out there that people sleep on the youth. There, there's some murderers out there. Like, reach out. I mean, they'll, there's, they'll there's, give some, you. there's some old heads too that are, that are t- yeah, that will cool do it. two, three thousand just to do a feature real quick. Fact. Just I mean, look at JR Ryder. He hit me up, told me two thousand dollars for a feature, but you know, facts. I'm not getting JR Ryder for it. And then you got motherfuckers like Bizarre. No, terrible. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it, bro. Terrible. I'm not as much it. as I, I love might, how awful Bizarre is, I would never do that to myself. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. You know what? I would do it, but he can't rap. It got to be like a no. skit. 
Yeah. I'll give you five hundred dollars oh, yeah. just to do a skit. Facts. I would do it. That, yeah. but that's it. No, like, don't try to like rap on it. Like, don't even put yeah, a beat no, behind no. you, bro. We don't want just, none of I that. I just want a funny shit. ass skit, bro. That's it. Yep. <laughs> So, um, so the next project, this was kicking into the Friday releases. So this is the first one that I did. I didn't know this was dropping. So I was pleasantly surprised, but this was see you next Wednesday by belly. Mm. I fucked with this. Mm. First of all, can we, can we just give our flowers to the weekend while he's still alive? Because anytime yeah. the weekend is on a fucking song, I, was, I don't care what nobody says. Weekend was on a lot of goes crazy. Yo, he bro, was on two songs, is, which I was shocked. I mean, isn't Belly's Drake? Oh, the Die right? for it with um with not first of all that one. That's yo, probably my favorite song on that album. Oh yeah, that song was fantastic. But then he did the weekend and Thug a song, and I was like, this is a vibe. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I and 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 it's crazy because you wouldn't think the way that um Thug's style is, it would kind of clash. Yeah, with the you wouldn't weekend, think it would work. Really the weekend, worked. but it worked. Yeah, it worked. It really did. Yeah. Honestly, this this project's a lot of the features shocked me. So, Nav Yo, had Gunna a dope and, feature, PM, and PM, I don't PMB. fuck with Nav. Yeah, Ooh, Gunna and P- and I've given PM. him so many red stamps. Oh, oh, Nav is oh, the Nav. Worst, but I think yeah, that song I'm probably, was dope. I'm probably the only one in the group that really actually fucks with Nav. I, I, I like Nav. Oh, I, don't <laughs> at all. I, I like him. Absolutely not. But I know, I know y'all don't. Hey, I can't stand. It. I think he is, the, he is the biggest fucking industry plant I've ever seen in my entire. Like he is a blatant disrespect. But um, I thought Money Bag snapped. I thought Gunna and PNB did their thing, and I don't fuck with Gunna. PNB just looks funny to me. I don't fuck with him either. He did good. <laughs> but I they, thought little they did little their Uzi thing. did his thing. Big Sean had a good time on that track. Track was a little weird, Yo, but I wasn't all, mad you, at it. You should have put a you should have put a fire truck or at least a fire emoji next to Big Sean. He snapped. Big he did his thing. Like he been snapping a lot you know lately what? on these features. He did his thing, but I don't think I didn't like Big Sean's hook. Hmm. The hook was corny, but you know, Big Sean has a few corny every now and then. I feel like Belly yeah, should, but but, the, but his verse was solid though. His verse, his verse was dope. His, his verse was a fire dope. emoji, bro. Yeah, his verse was dope. Yeah, Benny I'll the give you that. Went off on this. Benny's always he's he's always yeah. going off, and he he's don't need to on this. But this project was a good time, man. I was I was like I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, this is this one was unexpected, but it had the feel of like it was like a a solid album. You know what I'm saying? Like it's got a mix of everything yeah. in here, and it's cool because like. Belly had so many features on here that you can get lost in the features, but I feel like he held his own. I think that it was like it does when you look at the track list, it, it seems like there's a lot of features. But when you really listen to the album, everything was kind of seamless. Yeah, like, yeah, you didn't, yeah, yeah. Like you and noticed that the he, features were there. He held his but own. Like it, it didn't take like away from the his. album. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did a good because like a lot of people, you get those names on there, shit hat, you know, you you lose your album starts to just fall into you know mixtape city. But I think he kept everyone, you know, everyone kept their eye on the ball. Like I think he controlled the project the way you should, you know. Right. Yeah. So it was it was super solid. I, I, I was super solid. It was solid though. I fucked with it. Um, super solid. Ooh. I always say that. Super solid. Relax. All right. <laughs> don't, don't don't pause Olive Garden. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but um, I thought salads this project. in this place. Oh boy, this guy. But so the next project, <laughs> the next send project Johnny and me was, right uh, now. I'm about to text him. Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> 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 so the next was uh, "Birthday Mix Six by Lil Yachty. Oh my Yo, god. Yo, bro, can we just let's just skip over this, please? Please, <laughs> can we just skip? Can we just skip this? Like this is this shouldn't even be a topic, bro. This, yo, this really shouldn't. This this yo, all I have to say is this project is for people who make a good amount of money in adulthood and the first thing they spend it on is a cream cheese bagel to put some Doritos on it. Like this shit is so fucking special, nah, bro. bro. This, this <laughs> shit is for, this shit is for adults currently <laughs> who are smart in real life, but would rather ride the short bus. <laughs> Hey, that's a hustle, bro. No, this, this shit is crazy, bro. Like this, this project, I was like, what is this, bro? Like this whole project is a TikTok dance. Like, cut it out. Like, this shit is just cringy. It was corny. I was like, bro. And I usually rock with some of the ridiculous that Yachty does, but this was not it. I thought the beats were awful. The features were awful. He was awful. This wasn't a good time yeah, at all. This, this was fucking trash. Yeah, it was garbage. And then the next project was, um, I didn't know this was coming out either. This was Hitler Wears Hermes 8. This is Sincerely Adolf by West Side Gun. I have to. This talk wasn't West Side Gun. This was the mixtape. Yeah, this was this, this was, was the mixtape. This was the Stove God Cooks mixtape hosted by West Side Gun. 
Yeah, this so, is West Side Gun and Friends. <laughs> I do want to talk about something that I could not handle. One, Rome Streets on Perry Perry was disgusting. Rome Two, Streets is always crazy. Always. Bro, I don't think I've ever heard Lil Wayne snap this in the last five, ten years. I don't think I've ever about heard to Wayne. Say. <laughs> now, yeah, old Wayne used to snap. But I haven't heard in, a, in over a decade or maybe less. I haven't heard Wayne rap like this. And it it scared me. I I, I ran the song back because I was like, hold the fuck up. Like, and, I I, and I'm not, Wayne, like, there's no It sounded like Wayne. he was just, it was just like, he just had Bro. so much that he wanted to get off his chest. Bro. Because, you know, he, he was bringing up shit. He was just, he was talking wild spicy. Bro, this is the energy of like, this is as if someone like Jay-Z or Nas said like, yo, Wayne can't rap. And Wayne like heard it and was like, oh no, I'm pissed. You know, like this was scary, Wayne. I haven't heard yeah. Wayne rap like this in fucking forever. And it, it, it caught me off guard. Cause it like it came this, in this, so hot. This wasn't Wayne. I was like, holy shit. This was, Weezy shit. F. Was, this was yo, Carter was Two, possessed. Carter Three, Wheezy yes, F. Yes, he was. This was no possessed. ceilings, little Wayne. Yo, serious. Like he was possessed. And what's crazy though, even if we compare it to those ones, this wasn't like random punchline. This this had mean. Like there was a lot going on no, in this yeah, verse. He, he wrote this he, verse. He There's punching, no way he, he was, didn't. Oh my god. He wrote this verse. That's uh, that's Bro. all I'm gonna say. He wrote this. That's the difference. That's bro, probably the difference. This he was, wrote this first. This was no ceilings wheezy, bro. I promise Yo, you. Yo, scary, bro. This was scary. no ceilings wheezy. Because I think, in my opinion, I always said it. No ceilings. This is is by far his greatest. Oh yeah. Group of work. Next to probably Carter Three, but Carter Three was yeah. mainstream. So we're gonna yeah. keep it strictly. Carter Three was still fantastic, but yeah. No, yeah, no. Carter Three is is a classic. But I'm, what I'm yeah. saying is, as far as like, as far as like him just rapping, rapping, no ceilings oh, yeah. took the cake out of oh, everything. Yeah. Bro, in this project, he, I, dude, I, I was like, bro, what, like, what did, what did West Side Gun do that made you give him this verse? Yo, West Side must have been like <laughs> Drake killed you on, um, on uh, <laughs> dedication six. Yo, fact. He was like, word. He fucking to <laughs> oh, torched you oh, on that oh, shit. Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Nigga got into Soldier Boy mode like Drake. Drake. <laughs> Nigga stole my whole flow, and then he's just like, "All right, cool, I'm going." Yo, on. seriously, and it was crazy for like the for that verse to stand out, especially on like it was like track ten, and after hearing like this was after hearing Stove God rap on like four of the tracks, after Rome Streets, after Mac Hami, after Jada Kiss going nuts, after Boldy James, after Sauce Walker giving us a fire yeah, verse. Sauce Walker was oh my gosh, yeah, he walked on that shit too. And then after but, hearing then, all this fire, and then you got shit, fucking you Conway and Benny after you. Oh my god, on that DJ Clue yeah. track, and then that other track with Conway. This project, it was wild. Even though it's a mixtape to me, it was a wild. It was a good time. Yeah, this this wasn't an album to me. It was definitely a, the pacing and everything tells you it was a mixtape. Yeah, this was a streets is on fire fucking mixtape for sure though. Like this was made for the streets, and I fucking I loved it. I was like, once this shit picked up, it never stopped. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It I just agree, was like everything back to was back. just yeah, and everyone was I, I mean, just I, snapping. I would have gave it a. I would have gave it a, a eight and a half, though. You gave him a seven point eight. You I gave feel him an eight and a half. me? You feel I me? No, and, I, and I understand. I, I definitely understand why you gave him that seven point yeah. eight. And a lot of it has to do with everybody outshining him. Honestly, like, yes, it had to do with West Side not being the the main course, the focal, like the yeah. main. You know, like, if that's what you're gonna do, then make that in the fucking title. Like, make that in your title yeah, of the album. But yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? like, that's, like I can't like, give that. Like, if I give this project an eight point five, I'm not giving West Side an eight point five. I'm giving right. You're giving on the it features eight point five. Yeah, exactly. But and and features alone, if it was just all the features and West Side Gun was just hosting it, like West Side Gun hosts. Hitler wears Hermes. Like yeah. if that was the case. This would have probably been a nine. I might have hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, it was it was it was a wild time, but definitely definitely for you old school Wayne fans and all that shit, listen to that verse. Please yeah, let me gotta, know you how you guys feel it. about you it. I would love to, to hear what you guys think of that verse. Fact. And then um and then the last thing we did was a little SoundCloud jammy jam, but it's on uh it's on um Spotify as well. And I'll, yeah, I listened to it on Spotify. <laughs> this was UF I didn't, I didn't, here I didn't get through the past. LMO four fifteen. I did not bad. get past the first two songs, bro. Bro, what's funny I, is I got past the first one. Tag on it. Oh my 
gosh. It was just bad, bro. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I couldn't tell if this was satire or not, but what I'm saying is I know someone said, I, I don't remember who sent it to us, but I know they sent it to us to like cook at, like cook them. And I'm not sure. I think it was um, Uncle Kurt, Kurt Brody. If I, if it doesn't, if it, if my memory is working well, but oh my Lord, this is, it's to the point where it's so bad where you, you're just not sure if it's satire or not. Uh, I, I really hope for his sake it is. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking I, dude. I've been singing it like my girl immediately was like, yeah, she was like, stop, don't do that. Because I was singing the I need vaccine because it's just so bad <laughs> and it's stuck in my head. Like, ah, this is bad. This is hot, hot garbage. Yeah, this is fucking crazy. This yeah. is like that stay at home, like that 40 year old stay at home dad just going, hey, I could rap for YouTube kids. And like he tries really hard. <laughs> really hard really hard and it's not good it's not good at all at this all. is like but what's funny is this post went crazy people were loving it and so many people listened to it and i felt bad i genuinely felt bad for the amount of people that listened to it but that's what that's it is the more people listen to the project that has straight dookie emojis than anything else <laughs> you know it's crazy and this dude will probably go viral bro yo yeah I He's mean, going to get a blue stamp before us. He has and music it sucks videos because on on YouTube that I ran into that like get views. So yeah, I mean it is what it is. American Idol hit him up. <laughs> hit him up. She but, bangs. Um, she bangs. Yo, the goat. The goat. <laughs> William Hung. But yeah, man, this shit was pretty. It was pretty fucking bad. It was like embarrassing. Like I was cringing the whole time. I was like, bro, I had my head down. Wait, I'm like, I wait, can't Johnny, do this. Johnny, did Walco fall asleep on us? Oh yeah, Walco's done. Oh yeah, he, we, he we lost him like see. four like four projects ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If this is on video, the, we would have saw the him meme that one time. Show? Yeah, me my sencho. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely Walco. Oh, billion, <laughs> billion percent. <laughs> but hey, you know, we got that dad shit. We all know it. it's like. Yeah, that's a fact. We get tired. Out I'm, here, I, honestly, I'm afraid. I, I'm I'm really surprised. I'm still up right now. I mean, I'm just oh, dude, my, you know I'm how much fried. land my mom has, bro. Oh, that's crazy. My mom has I'm a fried. lot of land, and I mold her entire fucking estate. Jesus, that's a good workout. With with, with the pushing mower, not no riding around, bro. <laughs> no the John Deere. Shit. With the with the with the shit that you gotta pull the fucking string and yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> you gotta that shit. Yeah, bro. I am fucking hey, yo, bro. My I mom is just sitting that. there like, you need water? Like, no, nigga, I need you to call yeah. a Mexican or something. I need like, new legs. <laughs> Fuck, bro, it's fucking 90 degrees. She picks the hottest day to ask me. Oh, yeah, I feel that. I'm fucking, fr- I feel you too, bro. I, I'm like shot, shot. I'm ready to fucking KO. I, I Yo, sound bro, that's like I'm dying. Do. But that's yeah, life, it does. Man. It does. We all sound tired, man. Hey, that's how it is. We enjoy ourselves, though. But um, that's all that's- we got. That's all we got for this roundup and all that good stuff. This week should be interesting. It's a lot of music, a lot of music news and stuff happening. So we'll see how that goes. But Let's see that's if Drake all we got, really man. dropped tonight. Yo, facts. Let's see. Let's fa- I think he he's dropped drop that Chris Friday. Brown. That no, Chris no, no. Brown he's supposed to drop. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to drop that record with Chris Brown. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see. He's probably getting let's Soldier see. Boy on it as we speak. But right, imagine, yo, bro. If he gets Soldier Boy, legend, bro. Drake is a. I would love that. Drake is the ultimate troll if he does that. I would love because Soldier so Boy much. doesn't like Drake right now, so that'd no. be crazy. But he's already mad at Kanye, so I feel like Drake would find a way. That would that would be some real. Honestly, that would be peak Soldier Boy and Drake. To be honest with you. Oh yeah, fantastic. I'm here for but, it, bro. I love it. Yep. I, I love Same. this shit. Same. It's petty and it's it's fun. Oh, actually, you know what? I am gonna. I do got to sign off because that Jake Paul fight's on right now. I gotta watch. Well, it's coming on tonight, so I'm gonna watch that. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. Mom, I have to definitely. I have to fucking watch that shit. I'm gonna watch it in bed while playing some Dodgeball Academia. Yeah, you go. I've been playing. uh, (laughs) I've been playing that. Um, No More Heroes. The new No More Heroes. Having a good time, but yo, for reals, for reals. Signing off, but I'll holler at you if you need a link. I'll send it. (laughs) Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, subscribe, all that. Facts. Hit buttons. Peace.